Sas rast, dava verim rast I'm very glad to hear that your health is looking better. So are these new health challenges going to affect your career inside the Octagon, do you think? No, I don't, I don't think so. Um, I'm, I'm in control of my life. Uh, uh, of course, in terms of weight, uh, if, I, if I want to go back to compete at one, 185, I, I will, you know, obviously eating like I did what I did. I learned from my mistake. I don't think it's a it's a good thing to do. Force myself to eat, to gain muscle mass. Uh, uh, I've always been against performance enhancing drug, and I did it the most. I did it the natural way. There is no easy way. I did it the hard way, and it was to gain weight and, and to maintain my muscle mass. And it was very hard, and it was not healthy. I think the body has a natural way where it. Weight at at he can perform uh, is uh, is at his best at at athletic athletic ability, and for me, the weight that I am now is my is my uh, is my perfect weight. So will that affect your ability to defend the middleweight title, or is it healthier for you to go back to welterweight? Yeah, and, um, we'll talk about it, but I'm not sure if I if I if I compete, it will go I will go back at 185. I don't think so. Now, I want to ask you what your reaction is when you hear someone like Luke Rockhold, who recently insinuated that your diagnosis is just another excuse that you're using to get out of fighting at middleweight and that Robert Whitaker is the real champ. Well, it's, <clears throat> it's, not, it's, not a, it's not a fake diagnosis. I have the, the paper of the doctor and everything to prove it. Um, my health is number one priority and performance is second. For me, I always prioritize prioritize my prioritize my health in front of my performance. So I take care of my health first. It's it's that's what matters the most, and uh, performance second. But look, Rockall, he can hang there. He's gonna have a shot, no problem. I, I, when you're on top, everybody wanna have what you get, and it's not new for me. It's um, I'm used to that kind of stuff. I don't take it personal. Uh, I've talked to Luke. He's a, he's a good guy. He just is a hungry guy and he wants to be champion again and uh, wish him the best.
connect it, for sure I didn't want to hit him anymore. Um, it, it would land it super clean. Um, no need to do any more, but uh, I put my hands up, and then Herb just wanted me to continue, so I continued. But for sure I didn't want to continue. That was a super, super hard knee. But um, you really can't give a guy like Justin Gaethje a split second because he's the type of dude he'll, he'll recover within like a quarter second and then you'll be in a whole nother fight again. Like that's the kind of animal Justin Gaethje is. So for sure, if you hit him hard, you got you to gotta blast him and finish because it ain't going to be long before he's in your face again trying to, trying to kill you. So this is it, replay. Justin Gaethje asked the question, where is my equal? Eddie Alvarez was certainly that and then some tonight. And what a moment.